Amen. This letter says, pa praise the Lord, Pastor Jennings. Mm -hmm. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus, our soon coming king. Well, Bishop, I would like to ask you a question about hell, this person says. All right. Could you explain to me Revelation chapter 20, verse 13 to 15, and St. Luke uh, chapter 16, uh, verse 23 through 25? Revelation what? Uh, 20 and verse 13 through 15. All right. Revelation chapter 20, verses... 13 through 15. 15. All right, let's get that verse. Revelation chapter 20, verses 13 through 15. All right. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, mm -hmm. and death and hell delivered, to God. <laughs> death and hell. <laughs> death and hell. Delivered up the dead which were in them. Yes. And they were judged every man according to their works. Uh -huh. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Glory because, to God. she says, because I want to know if when a sinner dies, if he goes straight to hell, and if hell is real right now as you speak, may God bless you and preach the word true word of God, and she concludes, or he concludes. Does a sinner go to hell when he or she dies? Yes and no. Yeah. Right. Glory to God. That's Why right. is it yes and no? It's more than one hell. That's so right. Go back to the book of Revelation. Let's strip it bare down to the bone and take it apart and then put it back together. Let's have it. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. The sea. The abyss. Amen. Gave up the dead that was in it. And death. And death. And hell. And hell. Delivered up the dead which were in them. Delivered up the dead that was in them. And they were judged every man according to their work. Then what? And death and hell. And death and hell were cast, were cast. into the lake of fire. Now, glory to God. Death and hell. That's right. Hell gave up the dead that was in it. That was in it. That hell is not eternal. That's right. That hell is talking about the great. Pastor Gino Jennings is known for his passionate and articulate debates on various theological issues, providing viewers with a unique perspective on the Bible and Christianity. Ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Gino Jennings, a renowned preacher and leader of, of the First Church of our Lord Jesus Christ, has tackled the controversial topic of whether sinners go to hell after death in numerous sermons. With his bold and uncompromising approach to preaching to preaching the word of God. Pastor Jennings fearlessly delves into the consequences of sin and the importance of repentance. My respected friend, through his powerful messages, he challenges his audience to reflect on their actions and seek forgiveness before it's too late. Pastor Gino Jennings, as he delivers a thought-provoking perspective on the eternal fate of sinners in his enlightening sermons. Ladies and gentlemen, he explains that the Bible mentions two types of hell, the grave and the eternal fire. According to Janics, the grave is a temporary place of torment and punishment for those who reject God. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, he emphasizes the importance of repentance and following God's ways to avoid ending up in the lake of fire which he describes as a place of endless suffering and a remembrance of sins. My respected friend, 
the bible has several passages that describe hell as a place of punishment and separation from god here are some key points eternal fire hell is often described as a place of eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels matthew chapter 25 verses 41 outer darkness it is also it is also referred to as a place of outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth matthew chapter 8 verses 12 lake of fire a revelation describes hell as a lake of fire and brimstone which is the second death revelation chapter 20 verses 40 to 50 conscious torment hell is depicted as a place of conscious torment where the fire is not quenched and the worm does not die mark chapter 9 verses 48 eternal punishment ladies and gentlemen it is a place it is a place of internal punishment for those who don't know god and don't obey the gospel second thessalonian chapter first verses 8 to 9 these descriptions emphasizes the severity and performance of hell as a place of punishment for sin and rejection of god as you know pastor gino jennings interrupts interrupts specific <coughs> sorry specific biblical verses <coughs> related to hell with a focus with a focus on two main concepts the grave and the eternal fire there is a gentleman here are some key interpretations revelation verses a uh, sorry chapter 20 verses 40 to 50 jennings explains that this passage which describes the lake of fire refers to final judgment where sinners are cast into eternal torment he emphasizes that this is the ultimate fate for those who reject god deuteronomy chapter 32 verses 22 he interrupts this verse which speaks of a fire kindled in god's anger as a warning of the sever consequences of sin and disobedience Luke chapter 
16 verses 23 to 24. In the parable, in the parable of rich man and Lazarus, Jennings highlights the immediate, immediate torment experienced by the rich man in hell. Underscoring the reality of conscious suffering after death for an repentant. Mark chapter 9 verses 43 to 48. Pastor Gino Jennings uses uses these verses to stress the seriousness of sin and the extreme myers one should take to avoid hell where the fire is not quenched and the worm does not die. There's a gentleman, as you know, Pastor Gino Jennings, often emphasizes the need for repentance and adherence to God's commandments to avoid the eternal fire. He warns that hell is a place of endless. He warns that hell is a place of endless suffering and remembrance of sins for those who don't follow God's way. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're interested in more detailed explanations, Respected friend, you can watch one of his sermons on this topic on my YouTube channel. Ladies and gentlemen, do you have do you have any specific question? Do you have any thoughts about these interpretations and I would request to all make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our latest uploads and to show your support to show your support for our work. We appreciate, we appreciate each and every one of our subscribers and look forward to sharing more content with you in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more insightful content.